Okay, this is the start of me trying to get my closet together. This is just the very beginning stages of the closet clean out. This is probably gonna take me a few days to do if I'm being realistic with myself, but I just cleaned out this cabinet, which I'm gonna use for shoe storage and sweater storage. I'm actually using this as like a little knee pad to clean all this out because the floor is really hard. I have this broccoli florets box for Goodwill. So I hope to get that filled up. This is just what I'm gonna be using for storing stuff. I have a storage unit beneath the building that's included with the apartment. So I need to take some stuff down for storage. I have this vacuum and I don't need that anymore. And I have all my plant stuff on this little cart, but I think I wanna start storing that down in my storage unit below the building just because I just don't have a lot of room in my closet, but this is all really messy. I have my hiking stuff here, my cleaning stuff here. I'm not even sure what's in this brown box. I think it's some like decorations that I'm not using, winter clothes that I should be using, but I haven't unpacked them, it's ridiculous. My laundry basket's right there. And then my step stool, like over here, I have this dresser that usually isn't overflowing to be honest. Like usually, usually I'm a little bit better than this. I have all of my jewelry right here, which is also a little bit messy. These baskets, don't totally know what's in all these. Um, I have them labeled, but I haven't stuck to the label. This is what my shoes look like. Um, just a pile of shoes, like just a pile. I don't know what's back here. I have a little bit of a workout situation going on. Oh, there's some more shoes. And then my hang-up clothes right here, my toolkit, and then some suitcases. So. gives you a little bit of an idea of what I'm starting with. I'm actually going to start all of this tomorrow. Believe it or not, I've gotten a lot of stuff done today in preparation for this. I cleaned out that whole cabinet that I already showed you for my shoes. So my whole goal today was just to clean my apartment and make space. And then tomorrow I'm gonna unload everything out of my closet and slowly but surely start putting it back in. So funny though, I've been putting so much thought into this organization situation and how to make my closet look better that I even drew out a little graph and I ordered a little shoe rack that I think I'm gonna end up putting in the top of my closet, but I'm gonna move my dresser over to the right hand side. I want to move my air conditioner into the closet because I have my air conditioner just right here. And with some of these shoes. I have these for sale on my Poshmark, so I'm gonna put those in my little for sale category box. I almost wanna sell these because I never have once worn them, but they're so cute. So I'm gonna put these over here just to think about for later. Um, of course, I'm keeping high top chucks, like those are non-negotiable in my wardrobe. These I need because I wear them for lifting at the gym. Maybe I'll just tuck those there. These are absolutely never leaving my side. Definitely not getting rid of my boots. I have one, two, three. My house shoes can stay down there because I wear those a lot. I guess I'm gonna keep these even though they're not my number one. I just, it's nice to have a pair of slip-ons. I guess I'll put these right here. That actually is pretty nice. these plastic containers at Ikea. I'm going to divide up this first one into shorts and probably skirts. Probably shorts, skirts, and dresses. Skirts, dresses. To be honest, a lot of this stuff doesn't fit me anymore after quarantine.
gosh, you guys, the Virgo in me is thriving right now. I have gotten so into this clean out organization situation. Let me update you where I'm at so far. I created a little box for all the stuff I want to sell on Poshmark. I'm still deciding about these shoes, if I want to keep them or not. I have my little bins right here, totally labeled. So when I come across something that I need to put away, I can just fold it and put it in those bins. I have this bag going for Buffalo Exchange and whatever they don't take, I'll just take that bag right to the thrift store. I am currently folding this pile of laundry. These shoes are gonna go in a summer bin too because obviously I don't need sandals for winter. I have all my sports bras in here and underwear on the side. That system really works for me. I always have that going on. Short sleeve t-shirts for like the gym and sleeping in. This is workout tops. This is, I'm going through this. I guess I'm shifting this to this drawer because I'm gonna have long sleeves down here. Um, just currently folding all this laundry, like I said, and I'm almost halfway through this side of the closet. So making some serious progress. things to get rid of in these white baskets right here this one is mainly all sweaters and I want to put all my sweaters in this top shelf and then I'm gonna vacuum the top of my closet I just have my vacuum charging over there look at this look at all this I mean it's cool because it's gonna be so decluttered and so organized but right now I feel a little overwhelmed Again, unloading this side of the closet. I don't think I'm gonna film it. I'll just show you when I get everything out. I'm literally just gonna pull everything out and put it on the okay. floor. This side is totally cleaned out now. I'm gonna sweep and mop in here. To be honest, it was really hard and sad getting rid of the trunk that used to hold Sally's litter box, which probably sounds weird, but getting rid of things can be hard sometimes. Um, I have it right here, actually. <laughs> I'm gonna um, store it downstairs in my little storage area just in case I one day get another cat. I'm not sure if that will happen or when, but I'm just not quite ready to totally part ways with this thing. <music> Honestly, it looks probably crazy, but I think I'm like on the down swing with it. it. I just need to put everything back in the closet, but where is my mop? Oh, there it is, in the bathroom. I have my little craft basket that's so inefficient. So I'm gonna divide it up into these two little containers right here. I 
decided to use one of these white baskets for all of my packing supplies that I keep on hand. And I just labeled it right here. But I got this little tip from someone I follow on Instagram. I think her name is Katie Simplifies or Kate Simplifies. I'll link her below. I always want to hold on to all my extra packaging because I sell stuff on Poshmark or whatever, offer up. And she said only hold on to like one basket full and the rest just recycle. So you don't get like a huge buildup. And I know that sounds like a super simple tip, but I'll have like empty envelopes laying all over the place because I don't want to throw them away. So I'm just going to hold on to whatever fits in this basket and then let myself throw away whatever else or recycle whatever else comes in because I'm not going to ever need more packaging than this. I'm kind of in the middle of this project and now I'm like at this very stuck spot where I'm not sure what I can do next. I'm going to show you what it looks like around me. Well, probably not much has changed. Maybe it's even gotten worse since <laughs> I last showed you a little look around. Um, pretty much all the stuff down there except for that plastic container needs to go to recycling. My boyfriend's going to have to help me carry down that big trunk. Don't know when he's going to be able to do that. Um, this plastic container is going in my storage downstairs. The broccoli florets box is for Goodwill. All the boxes behind it are recycling. But my closet is looking really lovely. I'm not even really sure what else I need to put in there, but I'm also not really sure what the rest of this crap is. I know I want to have like a little gym area, kind of where the step stool is down on the floor. So I need to get that set up. And I also have a piece of furniture to put together to store all my linens, which are in that Ikea bag. My last and final task of the day is I'm gonna put together this little shelf I ordered from Amazon. And then I'm gonna finish up the closet in this video tomorrow because it's been, it's taken me hours. It's probably been like, I don't know, four or five hours that I've been working on this. So yeah, I'm gonna get this put together and then I'm gonna clean the rest of my apartment and then tomorrow I will do the final reveal. Okay, it's the next day and I spent some time last night and this morning getting everything cleaned up and finished up and I'm ready to show you the final reveal. I wish there was a way to show you the entire closet all at once, but I'm gonna start with the left-hand side. I got my AC in there, I got my shelf in there like I wanted, and then over here I have my dresser that fits really nicely. One thing I really wanted was my step stool to be super easily accessible, and so I created a lot of extra space for that. I have these stacking containers that are see-through and I love them. Um, I will say the lids don't snap on, they just literally lay on the top. So that was a little bit disappointing, but my plan is to have summer stuff written on one side, like right here I have shorts, skirts, and dresses. And then when, in the winter when I do this again, I'll flip this the opposite way and I'll have like sweatpants, leggings, jeans, just typed out on the other side. So every season I can just flip around flip them around depending on what I'm storing. Um, okay, let me move over to the other sides. I decided to keep my little plant and pink cart here and then my AC is gonna fit there. I'll store my heater there in the summer when I'm using my AC. My iron, this part looks messy but it's very organized. I have my hiking pack here and then just some extra bags. This pot just doesn't fit because it's too big so I will um, just leave it like that. Um, and then I have my little container of extra decor. My sister painted this. She's so talented. I'm going to find a place to hang it. I actually need to get a different frame for it. So that's what I'm waiting for. Um, and then I just have some extra stuffing from when I restuffed my sofa cushions. And then these white baskets. I used this one for packaging. This one is for like spare tote bags. Okay, here's what the other side looks like from a distance. I really just wanted some space that wasn't used. So I just have some empty space. I wanted a little gym set up. Normally my Peloton goes right here. So I just wanted like stuff I can grab over the Peloton without it being in the way. Okay, let me continue with the baskets. 
so I have the totes in that one. This is stuff that I have up for sale on my Poshmark. And then this basket was actually totally empty and I realized I had a bunch of stuff laying around my apartment that I'm using for projects for like YouTube videos or like I have a frame that I need to get fixed or I have some LED lights I wanna hang up. So I just have that as like my little project basket. Um, I color coordinated my clothes. And those are all of my hang-up clothes. And I have all of my jewelry storage right here. I also have this little hanger for my bras and my little workout belt that I'm obsessed with. Um, so yeah, this area I really want to organize and go through. Um, to be honest, the jewelry that I use is pretty much everything in this box and that's about it. It's pretty organized, but I need to just get rid of some stuff. I hung up my vacuum and that whole little wall is just an organizer I got off Amazon. I'll put links for everything I can think of. I have all my brooms and my mop heads organized right there. I believe I got this little three drawer system from Amazon and I absolutely love it. I know it's like one of those cheapo plastic ones, but the drawers just open up so nicely and I'm a big fan of it. So then I have my laundry right here so I can just kind of throw it right in when I get undressed for the shower. And I have backup paper products and this is the shelf I got from Amazon and I love it. It's really tall because I wanted to utilize some of the like above head storage space. So I used to do tons of yoga before COVID. So I have all my yoga towels and then like my little mat towels right there. I have some backup bedding, I have empty space, and then I just have my extra comforter up there. And my pearl purse, if you saw my first closet tour, you know I'm obsessed with this purse. I love it so much and I've never used it. So let's see, what else did I wanna mention? I'm gonna be doing Project 333. I know I mentioned that before, or some sort of capsule wardrobe. I'm just not totally sure exactly what I want to do and I want to like research it a little bit more and put some more thought into it. I really want to transition into a very sustainable closet, um, less fast fashion, even though I do like some comfy stuff from Amazon, but as far as like jeans or things that I know that I want to keep for a long time, I kind of want to move into like better quality and less quantity. I just didn't have like the mental capacity to do that right now. I think my goal was to just get everything cleaned out first and then go from there. So I have bags of stuff to donate. I have stuff that I'm gonna be selling on Poshmark. Oh my gosh, I forgot to show you. I made this cabinet an extension of my closet. By the way, this little dish is from Amazon and it is so cute. I'm using it to hold my oils. I made this little cabinet an extension of my closet and I'm using it for shoe storage. Like in my mind, wanted to create systems for problem areas that I had. So like the sweater issue, they were always getting unfolded. I needed to create a better system. I always needed my step stool, but it was buried behind a bunch of stuff. So I wanted to make that really easily accessible. My workout equipment was kind of like tucked away in the back of the closet, so I never used it. So I wanted that accessible. So when I ride my Peloton, I can just hop off and grab my weights. That's like my biggest tip is just don't worry too much about it being perfect. Just worry about the things that you use the most and the things that you need the most and make those accessible and easy to get to. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Please like this video, please subscribe. Thanks.